Hey guys, this video you're watching right now, all the visuals and cinematic scenes are completely generated by AI. This tool is called Catalyst, an AI video generation platform coming with a storyboard and with an agentic AI assistant to edit your videos. It doesn't only generate videos for you, but it also handles your story, characters, and visuals all in one place. And today we're going to generate this video using Catalyst, which is kindly sponsoring this video, so you can also learn how to create cinematic AI videos by yourself. You can start with a seven day free trial or jump straight into the unlimited plan from the link below. Normally, making an AI video means jumping between chat GPT for ideas, mid journey for images, 11 labs for voiceovers, and hours of editing in CapCut or Premiere. You can still use them if that works for you, but Catalyst offers much more features and consistency with your characters and storyboard. So I gave it a shot, and here's what happened. I started a new project, typed in my idea, and boom, Catalyst built the characters and the storyboard frames for me. Fast, consistent, and with that movie vibe I wanted. Honestly, some of the visuals did a great job, but also some of them didn't. That's not a problem because you can easily change anything you want. I'll come back to this part later in the video. So here's what you'll see when you first log in. On the dashboard, you'll find a couple of presets. You'll have the option to create different types of videos from commercials to YouTube shorts. You can use one of them or you can start a new project. For this example, we'll start a new project. Now, you can either generate from a simple idea by writing a descriptive prompt or paste in a full script if you already have one. Let's begin with the generate from idea option. I wanted to recreate a racing GTA style video in a Miami-like environment. I didn't know how to form it well, so I get an idea from ChatGPT and copied the prompt here. You can select how many scenes you want it to generate. But if you upload a script here, then Catalyst will create much more scenes depending on the length of your script. In the next step, it will generate a script for you and breaks it down for each scene. You can change them here if you prefer, and you can change the environment setting as well. Otherwise, let's move on. Here, it will ask you to choose a style. It doesn't have to be cinematic. There are other styles like cartoon, sketch, illustration, and so on. But for this example, I will use cinematic. You can also select the ratio here, whether you want it vertical, square, or horizontal. In the next step, Catalyst generates a cast. Like you're shooting a real movie with actors, you can edit your actors by changing their appearance and other details. And in the next step, Catalyst will generate a full set of storyboard frames for you. Now here's the part I really liked, agentic AI. This isn't just about random image generation. Sometimes the AI generations might not be perfect and you might even detect some mistakes, or you want to have different kind of scenes. In this case, you can easily get help from the Agentic AI Assistant. With Agentic AI, you can duplicate a frame, tweak the camera angle, add some motion blur, maybe even change the scene slightly, and it keeps everything consistent. For example, let's make a change in this scene. First, select it, then, Ask the agentic AI to change the color of the car to red. And as you see, it made the changes quickly. When you expand it, you can still find the older versions on the right side. Does it nail it on the first try every time? Nope, but that's the cool part. You can keep tweaking until you like it. All right, for my second example, I wanted something more relaxed showing off a city like Miami life with a vibrant city vibe. 
So I created some characters, a stylish tourist arriving at a luxury hotel. Then we hit the beach. You know, sunbathers, volleyball, jet skis. Cruising down Ocean Drive in a convertible, rooftop party at sunset, and finally, a night out in the streets with neon signs and packed clubs. All of this built using storyboard frames inside Catalyst, tweaking, regenerating, and keeping everything consistent with agentic AI. Now, if you want even more control, you can hit this pencil icon and dive into the frame editor. Here, you'll find a couple of editing options. Firstly, you can change prompt and regenerate. If you need a new angle or extra details, just tweak the prompt and regenerate. Character Posing Tool. You can move your characters around the scene. Super handy when something feels a bit off. Generative Fill Tool. Want to add something? You can drop in new elements or fix spots using Generative Fill. And right here, you get a side-by-side -side comparison of your old versus new generations. Makes it super easy to pick the best shot. Once you're happy with your storyboard, you can switch to the timeline view. Here, you can reorder your scenes, cut clips, adjust pacing, even add music or transitions. It works a bit like a simple video editor, so you don't need to export everything to Premiere or CapCut just to make a final cut. Catalyst also lets you tweak voiceovers, switch between male or female voices, change accents, speed things up or slow them down. My little tip for keeping viewers hooked. Mix up with wide shots with close-ups, throw in some text pop-ups and play around with pacing. So here's the deal. Catalyst gives you the full workflow from scripting to visuals, voiceovers, and final editing all inside one platform. It's not always perfect. Sometimes the AI misses the mark and you'll need a few regenerations, but the tool is getting better and better and having all these tools under one roof, that's a game changer if you're a YouTuber, a content creator, or even just someone looking to automate creative projects. Pricing starts at $29 per month, but you can start with the free trial or go straight to the unlimited plan using the link below. So if you want to try Catalyst AI, go ahead and start testing it. And if you're curious about more AI tools or want tips on making better videos, I've got another video lined up for you right here. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you guys for watching.